Kentucky and the Future Chicken Today Show. I'm Circuitry, and what you see on my screen is a clue on today's amazing guest. But first, here's our sunny side up host, Potato and Frittata. Hello, I'm Frittata, and this is... Potato? P potato Sorry I'm late. Muck, 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 muck. Great to see you. What's up, Potato? You look more sunny side down. My sensors detect a foul mood. <laughs> huh? Well, I am feeling kind of blue. Like cornflower blue or robin egg blue? More like indigo blue with a splash of denim blue. Really? That's like playing the harmonic on a street corner blue. <laughs> How come? You know how I wanted to paint a mural on the side of the bio barn? Like forever! Yeah, I remember. You made me mix the paint. That so did not go well. Well, I just want to paint something that sparks the same kind of joy I feel when I see a beautiful painting like Sunflowers by Dutch master Vincent van Gogh. Oh, so beautiful! He painted them to express gratitude. But, 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 but when I paint, it just screams Chicken scratch! That's so embarrassing! Potato, chill. Maybe you just need some inspiration. Good thinking, my little fragile friend. Potato could use a muse. Hmm, I suppose I could add a moose. Hey! Oh, not moose. No. Muse. A muse is someone who inspires the imagination of an artist. Some artists find their muse in nature, Tater Girl. They're inspired by the shapes of clouds or the moon that the whole world sees at the same time. Wait, doesn't today's guest get some of his ideas from nature? You're right! The amazing Joe Whale, also known as Doodle Boy. His art is everywhere, in books, on clothing, even on the wall of a restaurant. I'm thinking Doodle Boy can help you with your masterpiece. Yes, circuitry, get ready to count down to Doodle Boy. I'm ready for some inspiration. Time twister portal opening in three, two, one. Hello! My name is Potato, but sometimes my friends call me Taters or Tater Tots. I know you have a fun nickname. Can you share what that is and how you got it? So my real name is Joel, but aka the Doodle Boy, yes, that's my artist name. Oh yeah! Doodle Boy, I love it! What age did you start drawing and how old are you now? I'm 13 now, but I'd say I've started drawing since I was like three or four. Aww. You've created doodles that sometimes focus on the environment and nature. How does nature inspire your art? When I'm drawing, I always like to look around me and imagine what the world could be. And I think it's just a really happy thing that I draw. Wow! Can you tell us about your character, Super Robot? Ahem, <clears throat> did someone call me? No. He's like a really cool robot that goes around the world saving people and creating a better world, helping pick up plastics and all of that. Wow! Ah, huh, yes, but can Super Robot do this? <gasps> Was there something that inspired you to come up with the idea of Super Robot? It is really good to see lots of people helping out in the environment. And I thought it'd be really cool to create a character that can do that. I really came up with him while thinking about real life people that really help the world out. That's amazing. That's the kind of stuff that we love to do here as well. Do you have any advice for a budding artist? Say, for example, a chicken who wants to draw a picture? Don't think about the negative. Always focus on the positivity of the drawing. And if it's something you're really passionate about, reach out to others and try and like spread the word and show them what you're doing and try and inspire them as well. And Joe, are you hopeful about the future of our planet? Definitely with the new generation. I think if adults and kids really work together, I'm definitely looking forward to the things that we can do to help and just generally what our planet looks like. It is looking good. You have inspired me. So Joe, would you like to become an official Future Chicken Planet Protector? <gasps> oh, definitely. That would be an honor. I'd love to do that. It'd be amazing to get on board and yeah, help out. I hereby declare as potato that you are an official future chicken planet protector. Incredible. Yes, let's go. <laughs>
Ooh, we that is one talented artist. I'm a big fan of Joe's. Seems like you two have a lot in common, Circuitry. You're both inspired by nature. I'm pretty much rooted in it. <laughs> uh. My database tells me artists have been inspired by nature since the first cave drawings. That's right, Rocket Pants. Whether it's velvet starlights, majestic mountains, or... Circles! <laughs> Circles? Huh. I thought they looked more like Ripley rings water makes when you drop a stone in it. Which, by my calculation, are circles. Exactly! When I look at nature, I see circles. Like these tomatoes and, and, and the sun. Don't forget the moon. Yes, and you, Frittata. Me? But I'm an oval. Yeah, but your big, adorable, googly eyes aren't. You're right. So I am your muse. Yes, you, Joe, and all of nature. <gasps> I know what I'm going to paint. <laughs> oh, I feel so special. And how about you, Planet Protectors? How does nature inspire the artist in you? One of the best ways to connect with nature is to recreate it in your art. Oh, I love sketching plants, especially eggplants. <laughs> Am I playing favorites? Well, you throw the word egg into something, you got me going. This photographer has a good eye for animal pictures. Ah, yes. Feeling the sun on my face makes me want to dance, too. <laughs> I know, right? Wait, well, you don't even have a face. And look at this fan art created by our very own planet protectors. Ah, <sighs> just beautiful. Wow, we look good. You want to check it out before I paint it? Awesome, show us. Affirmative. Circuitry uploaded it for me. Drum roll, please. Engaging drum roll. Oh. Disengage drum roll. <laughs> She's showing us a doodle, not opening up for BTS. Okay. Whoa. Truly inspirational. That is the most beautiful painting I've ever seen. Thank you. I call it the circle of joy. Because whenever I look at this amazing round planet that we call home, I'm just filled with hugs. Oh, yes, I see it now. And I'm feeling it too. Makes me want to paint something. It's like inspiration leads to creation, to inspiration, to creation. My sensors detect the song coming up. Nature and imagination, together they make a creative combination. Get inspired by the trees or squirrels. <laughs> Let your ideas whirl and twirl. Inspiration, creation. It's a cycle that repeats wahoo. Inspiration, creation. Imagine what your doodles can do. Inspiration, creation. It's a cycle that repeats wahoo. Inspiration, creation. Imagine what your doodles can do. Look at you two, taking your inspiration even further and creating a song about it. You know what else it inspired? Lunch? No, a game to play with Joe. Circuitry, ready to time twist Joe back to 2050? Time twister portal opening in three, two, one. Do you know what time it is? No, I don't have a watch. It's game time! We're gonna play I Spy. You and Super Robot are taking a walk in nature and you spy something wild. What is it? A massive tiger. And now you spy something green. A huge palm tree. Whoa. And now you spy something that hops. Me when I flirt my leg. Ouch. And now you spy something with a web. A massive spider. <gasps> it's web between two trees. That sounds Delicious! <laughs> and now you spy something blue. The big blue sky. Oh. And now you spy something that flies. A massive pork. <laughs> or maybe a chicken. <laughs> thanks everyone for being here with us. And thanks to Joe, Circuitry, and all of our planet protectors for sharing your art. I could look at this masterpiece all day, Tater Girl. Me too. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Wait, what's that? Oh, did I miss something? No, look at your painting of me. I'm 
The perfect oval. Affirmative. It's so perfect. It's a bit much. Oh, thanks, Frittata. And you too, Rocket Pants. Overload. Now, why don't we end the show so we can start painting the actual mural? You need help painting it? Okay, sure. Fantastic. Our art inspiration awaits. Whoa. Just watch out for the. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Thanks for joining us in 2050. And remember, together, we make the future.